Hello, friends. We are currently live um, from the office at the rectory uh, for noonday healing prayer. I'm a little early um, on purpose, actually, uh, because if anyone would like to join in um, on Zoom, you're more than welcome to. I've copied the invite for this uh, for this service on our Facebook page. And uh, you're more than welcome to join that way. I'm trying to figure out how to run Zoom and Facebook Live in parallel so I can see comments. Um, lots of learning curve going on here. Um, there's also a 20 second lag between what shows up uh, on Facebook and, and when I'm actually saying it. Uh, but we are giving this a go. Uh, and if anyone would like to join, we're going to try that and just um, and see what's, uh, what's going on. So we've um, got about 15 minutes before the service. Uh, so if you'd like to just check in, chime in, let me know how you're doing. I'd love to hear from you. I miss you all. <laughs> and uh, it would be a delight uh, to hear from you today um, if, if you're up for checking in. So um, that's what we're up to. How's it going out there? Hey, Maureen, good to see you joining virtually. see here. Clicked something clever, so I'm having a hard time seeing the Facebook feed. There we go, getting that back up and running. There we are. Hey. There we are. Hey. Oh boy, got to mute myself. There we go. It's a challenge to have uh, things happening with a little bit of a delay, but them's the breaks. Gonna like it. Yeah. Let's see here. So again, this is uh, Matt Lindemann. I'm checking in from, um, from the office at the St. Peter's Milford Rectory. Um, we're just uh, going live, gearing up for noonday prayer. Um, and this is kind of an experiment. From the office at the St. Peter's Milford Rectory. Ah, uh, no, um, again, I'm gonna just uh, myself, trying to find ways to, uh, to go live on Zoom at the same time. Uh, there we go. Gotcha. Hey, Mo, got you. Um, I have to mute one thing while I'm talking on another because <laughs> otherwise it feeds back on itself and it's crazy. Um, yeah, but here we are. We're doing the thing. So St. Peter's, how are we doing? How are we feeling? 
how are we staying connected with God and with each other in this, this new brave new world in which we find ourselves? I'm gonna close the door. Keep my kids from barging in and distracting me too too much. Um, but yeah, we are uh, off and running. I am way far behind Maureen Lucas, our youth minister, and her ability to run youth group on Zoom. Um, but we're trying this out as a way of um, getting the word out there and seeing if we can make this a little bit more interactive. A lot of what we've been doing so far is just me talking. Um, and one of the ways in which we get a little bit of feedback is if you comment, uh, let things, let us know how things are going, um, checking in on Facebook or even trying on Zoom. Uh, I'm going to try posting the invitation again here in the comments below. Um, that's a lot, but there it is. Um, and you can click the link and, and see if that will bring you into, uh, into worship today. Um, it's an idea. Uh, if you come in, we'll, um, you'll be muted, uh, but it's good to see you all. Hey, Candace, good to see you. Hey, Burr, good to see you. Glad you're here. Good to see you all. Sorry for the dead air time. I'm still kind of getting my stuff together as we prepare for noonday healing, but I'm also opening this up a little early so folks can check in. Um, yeah, how's it going out there? Uh, you can always let things know in the, in the comments below. Um, you know, what we're doing to, uh, to care for ourselves in this new time in which we find ourselves. What are you doing at home to stay grounded, either in your prayer life or in exercise? Hey. Hey, Maureen. Got Maureen there. Mo is in the building. Hey. Hey. There we go. How's it going? Oh, I'm at work. <laughs> How are, how are you your and we're um, I'm guessing both live on, uh, on our Facebook stream too. Mm -hmm. um, how are you? How are you holding up today? Um, pretty. You know, um, I had an important uh, Zoom call last night with all my fellow, all my cohort youth ministers. So oh. um, that was important and powerful. Um, so very helpful to stay connected that way. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you're doing that. I was just on a Zoom call with our uh, bishops, I think we had, and our clergy and wardens in Connecticut. I think we had 172 people on this morning for checking in. Uh, fortunately, everyone was muted, but it was like, uh, it was like if, if the Brady Bunch all had the Brady Bunch number of kids uh, a generation ago, that, that's kind of how many people there would be. Um, it was a lot. Pretty amazing though, oh. good technology. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i really glad that we were over 144 because if we just had 144, that would have been gross. That would be gross. <laughs> a terrible, terrible numbers joke, everybody. Please don't encourage this. Uh, hey, Kathy, hey, Beverly, good to see you in the comments on Facebook. We have uh, echoing between two devices. One way to if you're echoing if you're watching things on multiple screens is to um, mute one of them. There's a window where you can mute video uh, and that uh, changes things a little bit. But um, yeah, this is an interesting 
interesting thing. Oh, there we go. There was, there's gallery view. I think that changes the, uh, the Facebook feed a little bit. Maureen is so brave for trying this on and uh, joining us <laughs> in this way. Um, Mo, if I sent you a, a reading, would you be able to read it uh, as part of our prayer service today? Uh, sure. I don't know how long I can stay on, though, just because I am at work. I just figured I would be, I would guinea pig for you. I love it. Thank you so much for <laughs> guinea pigging. Um, the readings do go pretty quick. They're like right off the bat um, once we get going at noon. Does that kind of work? Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Tell you what. I'm just you know, no, so let, let me back up a little bit. At noon, right, we've been invited by uh, Pope Francis, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, our bishops uh, all over the world to pray the Lord's Prayer wherever we are at noon, all across the world. So maybe that's how you could kick us off. Would that work for you? Uh, sure, sure. Perfect. We've still got a minute or two before then. Um, I'm wondering if at some point we could try doing... Um, like a Zoom coffee hour for St. Peter's if folks just wanna hang out and chat. Um, I'm not sure how many folks would be able to join, but I'm glad to see you. Kathy, hi, thanks for the comment. Good to see ya. I'm like the worst DJ ever. <laughs> I know at least one other person knows how to use Zoom. Yeah. Pretty sure he's watching. Yeah, he had to cut out though. He complained in the oh. comments that there was an echo. Um, oh, okay. So that's, it's okay. Don't, we're, we're, we, we don't do shame or blame. Not at all. <laughs> it was an invitation. That's right. Invitation, no pressure. <laughs> um, I uh, Welcome to this new camera angle. This is uh, my desk view. This is how my desk sees me. Um, we've got daffodils from the rectory garden here. We've got my bike, which is uh, in my office for when I can't get out for a run. And then uh, the bookshelves that are always in various uh, stages of disorganization are over there. Um, and the door that Ruth likes to come in and interrupt prayers with is uh, over here. Um, so yeah, it's got robes on it. It's all kinds of exciting. You never know uh, what you're gonna get here at the rectory at St. Peter's, so. Um, it's always, it's always huh. yeah that's better my arm was tired nice oh, cool. Ooh, i am right that's not working what was that noise did someone drive by at a, an alarm oh. Yeah, my window's open at work. I love it. Do you want to give us a, a live update on Main Street? No, you can turn it around. You can show, uh, show us what, what's going on. Uh, let's see what's going on. There's the green downtown East. Milford. Yeah. Uh, not nearly as much as we usually see. That is good. Everyone's staying home. Everyone's staying safe. Um, Trains and, running. Trains running. That's good. Um, glad we can do that. It's good to see if there's some sense of normalcy. Uh, some. <laughs> yeah. I know Nancy Lang is watching. Nancy, special shout out to you, boss. Good to see you. We're hey. staying out of trouble, only slightly. <laughs> staying connected in this brave new world. And as we come up on, um, as we come up on twelve o'clock, uh, we've we've been invited with churches all over the world, uh, from um, from the Pope, from the Archbishop to our presiding bishop Michael Curry, uh, that wherever we are, wherever we find ourselves, that we all pray together at noon, uh, the Lord's Prayer, as we seek God's protection and relief and presence among us um at this time so that so maureen will lead us with that and then we'll go into um uh, a service mm -hmm. of uh, prayers for healing um with a meditation on um the annunciation because today is 
the Feast of the Annunciation, um, as we hear uh, Mary saying yes to God uh, in that good news, as we uh, begin yet another cycle of the incarnation as our church reflects on um, the word becoming flesh and dwelling among us. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll hear a little bit about Mary. Um, you know, Ben Stiller was right. There is something about Mary. And, uh, and we continue on. Oh, sorry, Mo. It was terrible. Oh, why? Why do you encourage this? Don't laugh. We can't, can't do that. Um, but yeah, so that's um, part of that. And we, um, uh oh. I get disconnected or not? Hmm. So I don't know if anyone can see me. Um, I'm getting messages that Matt got disconnected. So let's, um, can anyone see me? If you're someone with my cell phone number, text me if you can see me. I'm going to go ahead and guess no. because, oh, okay, Kathy says yes. So let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As we wait for Matt to come back on, which I'm guessing he'll either rejoin or maybe start a new Zoom, I'm not sure. So um, I'd just like to thank everybody who's here um, watching and praying along with us. And I'd like to encourage you to use this weird time we're going through um, to really connect with your faith. And if you're having a hard time with that, reach out to someone who is in the same place or maybe a few steps different than you are. Because I know that for myself, um, you know, we're kind of all a little bit lost and it's so strange because the things that mattered even just a couple weeks ago um, aren't as nearly as important now. Um, and grounding myself in my faith though has given me a strength that I didn't recognize and a peace to remember that God's in charge ultimately. And that's really hard. 
And I believe Matt's back hosting, thankfully, because <laughs> I was not prepared to lead. Matthew. I think. Hey there, Mo. He's back. Hey. Sorry, we had technical difficulties at the rectory. Go ahead. Oh, we're all good. I was encouraging, I was trying to encourage people, um, you know, that because this is a time where we're kind of lost to really connect with their faith. And um, if that's a struggle, then to reach out and work with someone else to, to reconnect to. Absolutely. Mm. Well, as we, as we remain connected, perhaps we can join um, with folks around the world, Mo, if you'd lead us in the Lord's Prayer as people all over the world uh, are doing this right here, right now. Um, yeah, go would ahead. You like me to, would you like me to do it again? Um, did you, I already did it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. No, that's, that's fine. That's happy fine. Thank to, you. If you, if thank you, you. want to do it, Matt, happy to. No, I, uh, no, thank you. That would, um, I remember the first time I led morning prayer and I was really nervous in seminary and it was my job to lead it. I got so flustered. I, I said the Lord's prayer twice in like two different places. And, um, and that's, uh, yeah. Thanks for bringing back that, um, that nightmare. We're going to skip that one. Um, but thanks for all those who are praying along at home. Um, yeah, well, uh, I, I have a, I have a short, prayer service we can offer today if, if we're up for that. Um, so um, that begins with this, uh, this introduction. Grace and peace be with you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, and also with you. Let us pray. And today is our collect for the Annunciation, which I had on my phone and is now gone because I'm using it for Zoom. <laughs> Oh, this is so fun. Let's see here. Well, as we continue with our Lenten devotions, we remember this one, gracious father, whose blessed son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be true bread, which gives life to the world. Give us this bread that he may live in us and we in him who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest, we shall be saved and quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. This is a reading from the Gospel according to Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born holy. He will be called Son of God. And now 
a relative Elizabeth also can sign. And this is the sixth month for her who was to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. That's the gospel according to Luke. As we think about this time of incarnation, we think about Jesus uh, entering into the world. This is Mary finding out that she will be bearing him, uh, taking on that incredible task of bringing a life into a world. A wonderful article, which I can't remember um, off the top of my head, reflected that when Mary said yes to this, she wasn't just saying yes to bringing in a life, but she also was saying yes to the, the eventual pain of watching Jesus die on the cross for us. And it's in that reality of the incarnation that we find ourselves now, isn't it? That we are connected um, both to life um, as we engage each other on Facebook. And we also recognize that life comes with pain and struggle. Uh, that when we say yes to life, we're saying yes uh, to that as well, to, to pain and to loss. Uh, you know, Mary uh, is standing at the foot of the cross on Good Friday, bearing witness to this. Jesus uh, giving her a new son as he uh, commissions another disciple to stand in for him. Uh, we think about what she was saying yes to, what she couldn't have known or what she might have known, right? Um, as she was beginning in that. And in this time for us of incarnation, of recognizing how beautifully connected we are, but also how vulnerable we are, uh, we, we acknowledge um, that it was into our fragile state that Jesus came. That incarnation, that Jesus becoming flesh and dwelling among us really matters. And Mary saying yes to that really matters. Uh, those things are so sacred in our faith. We believe uh, that Jesus taking on human flesh uh, and entering into our vulnerability is one of the cornerstones of what it means to be a Christian, that we recognize how much, um, how much it really is just incredible that God would become vulnerable um, by being born among us that God would lead us into salvation through his only son in Jesus, that Jesus would enter into this mess, <laughs> our world, uh, that we would uh, be in relationship with him. And so it is, uh, it's in all of this that we, um, that we recognize uh, the beauty of the moment of Mary saying yes. Um, the challenge of that. Um, a few years ago, uh, the Annunciation and Good Friday happened on the same day. Um, and it's a, an incredible, powerful thing. I wanted to share um, an image of the Annunciation in a Greek icon, um, which is in the back of Frank Griswold's Praying Our Days. And I have no idea if this is correct uh, on, on the playback. I, I, I probably, I, I doubt it actually, just given the camera. But this is the Annunciation, the icon of uh, the angel visiting Mary and of Mary saying yes and yet being surprised. Our God is so surprising uh, in what we are invited into as we uh, come together. Um, I think many of us are feeling surprised by and challenged by, by what God is up to uh, through this crisis, where we might see God at work, um, where we are finding some grace, where we are finding grief and loss. Um, God's in the middle of all of that. But I wonder for you, where is the loss? Where is the challenge? Where is the blessing? 
Um, where is that? Where is God in this for you right now? What is being revealed to you? What, are, what have you had to say yes to uh, in this time? I am uh, trying to pull up uh, online the comments uh, and those are showing. Um, what is it that we are finding in this moment? Again, those comments as we find them, they will be, uh, they'll be registered even if we can't necessarily give voice to them in real time. But in this time of enunciation, we we're engaging in our prayers and our life together. And we acknowledge that there is um, a complex mix of things going on. Um, and yet it's, yeah. Hey again, Mo. We recognize hey. that in one of the comments, one of the one of the challenges of giving up seeing grandchildren regularly. Absolutely. Um, the, the challenge of uh, giving up uh, the freedom to see each other. Um, and I know as as we've been born into this new way of connecting with each other, uh, I certainly miss certainly miss being with, with the congregation. Um, and yet the blessing of life slowing down, maybe that's a blessing, maybe that's a challenge, maybe it's both. <laughs> um, you know, one of, the, one of the comments of, you know, kind of what a, what a year it's been this past week. <laughs> this time is compressed in on itself. Um, we give thanks for unexpected learnings that uh, for those who are venturing into social media for the first time or using Skype, uh, finding ways to be connected. Absolutely, absolutely. We give thanks for those uh, inbreakings um, of, of God at work in our life. Um, so many, many wonderful things um, going on. As you think about Again, what Mary said yes to. Um, I want to re read to you um, the Angelus, uh, which is from um, our ways of, of, of praying together um, and shared again in this, this book that Frank Griswold, a former presiding bishop, has put together called Praying Our Days. The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, O Lord, that we who have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, announced by an angel to the Virgin Mary, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we 
turn into our litany for healing, uh, we offer up this prayer for those uh, for whom we offer our prayers. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers today, either out loud, uh, wherever anyone might hear, or in your heart, or in the comments below. For whom and for what do we pray? Give thanks for the courage of St. Mary the Virgin, the Mother of God, in saying yes to so much. Saying yes to life, saying yes to bearing witness to the life and ministry of Jesus, to mothering him, to bearing witness to his passion, to celebrating in his resurrection. We lift up those in our lives who need healing prayers. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God, the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. With you, O Lord, is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your look, mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help, for friends and family, for Linda in West Virginia recovering from pneumonia, for families who have lost someone and can't bury them or attend the service, for all of those losses and griefs which we experience now in this time of challenge for all who are sick, for all who are serving the sick, for everyone affected, for all those who have had a change in their employment status, for those who are struggling either alone or juggling the needs of many family members under one roof. We ask for your healing grace upon all of them. 
Look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. We pray also, friends, for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you and those in your prayers in eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. You've promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you'd be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. We brought these prayers for we experience this time of community together as we continue in our Lenten journey, following the footsteps of Jesus Christ, who was born of the Virgin Mary. May God the Father bless you. God the Son heal you, and God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Friends, it has been such a joy to be with you today. God bless you. May God keep you uh, and keep us in the palm of his hand today, tomorrow, and always. Amen. Thank you for joining. Uh, we'll look forward to uh, being back together tomorrow and continuing in our life and work good care and we'll uh, we'll see you then all right bye friends thanks for joining us hey mary beth is that you Thought we had someone on. Okay. Thank you, friends. I'm happy to hang out with those who uh, want to hang out on Zoom. Hello. I'm going to uh, go ahead and turn off the live, but I'm running if anyone would like to check in. Um, you can call in on the uh, comment in our live stream chat on Facebook, uh, but I, I am going to go ahead and stop the live stream, but I will continue the Zoom meeting for any wish who wish to be part of this. If you're watching on a tablet and you'd like to speak, uh, click the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, and you'll be able to speak if you'd like. You can also turn on video if you'd like to uh, be able to see each other visually. Uh, we've got a few folks here, um, but uh, thanks for your patience with me as we do this for the first time. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now for the Facebook feed, but it is great to see you. God bless you all. Uh, and thanks again for staying connected uh, here at St. Peter's. God bless you. <laughs>